It's almost Halloween again, and that means it's time to get a bunch of cavities because it's candy eating season. But I did a video earlier in the year about Darman and his silly videos that don't make any sense at all. And I just recently looked and saw he had some videos about Halloween on his channel. So I thought, why not go ahead and watch one of those videos? For those of you who didn't watch the first Darman video on my channel, he basically posts short movies that have a little bit of a good message, but for the most part are just way over the top, way over dramatic, and don't have very good acting. And one of my biggest pet peeves with Darman are his titles and his thumbnails. The title of today's video is literally Literally, girl uses trash for Halloween decorations. What happens is shocking. I haven't watched this video yet, but she's most likely going to get made fun of for wearing trash as her Halloween costume. And the lesson is going to be don't make fun of people who have less money than you because they're using trash as a costume. But I'm sure it won't be that obvious. Let's give it a look. You were thinking of entering the contest? Yeah, my dad's taking me to Bullseye after school to get decorations. I am so excited. Hey, watch it. Oh my God, Tiffany, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, it's just water. I don't care. Do you have any idea how much these clothes cost? <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course you don't. You're walking Goodwill advertisement. Goodwill Gabby. Goodwill Gabby? What kind of a name is Goodwill Gabby? If you're lucky sometimes, you can go in there and find a pretty sweet deal on something that somebody just decided to get rid of. And what was that intro? You were thinking of entering the contest? Whoa, okay, I guess we're in the video now. And a common theme in Darman videos is that the main character is getting bullied relentlessly. And man, they weren't playing around. This girl started getting bullied within the first four seconds of this video. So excited. She shakes her hands out like this. Nobody shakes their hands out at the sink like this. I'd be kind of annoyed too if someone did this at the sink next to me. Oh man, just washing my hands, just washing my hands, and splash everywhere. Just because this girl's wearing an oversized hoodie for some reason, it could be her boyfriend's hoodie. We're supposed to believe that this girl is poor. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Just what I need for my decorations. Ew, are you really digging through the trash? I'm not gonna lie, that is disgusting. Why are you digging around in the trash at your high school? I thought that maybe I could... <laughs> <laughs> You're not seriously trying to win the contest with literal trash decorations, are you? Well, my, my dad always tells me to try and be resourceful. Resourceful? That sounds like something a brokey would say. I'm competing too, so do yourself a favor and quit now. A brokey? Sounds like something a real penny pincher would say. It's really hard to tell who the good guy and bad guy are in these videos, but I'm gonna try my best to keep you guys up to date with it. The girl on the right is the bully. I know it was really hard for you guys to figure that out. And the girl on the left is the main character who is broke. And she's using trash for decorations, just like the title. Girl uses trash for Halloween decorations. That'll be 95, 98. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Your card was declined. I'm so sorry, sweetie, but we're gonna have to return some of these decorations. How is that like $95 worth of decorations right there? They have a pumpkin. They have a little pumpkin bucket. A little Halloween house in the middle here. That can't be more than 20 bucks. I've got some cloth wipes and a chapstick. What can we decorate with that? Don't tell me all you got are those string lights. I have these too. I'm gonna use these to make some cobwebs. Wow, it's adorable. How do you think you have a chance of winning with some cotton and cheap lights? There's not a single thing that this girl has said over here next to the apricots and prunes that were some reason put right next to the Halloween toy section. That isn't like a really mean thing to say. Let's go ahead and see what happens next here. The employee back there so that we can have this for free because they're gonna throw it in the dumpster anyway. More trash for your collection. <laughs> All right. You know what? I gotta go run to the house and get some more hooks. You need anything? No way! I feel like this rich girl might be obsessed with this main character because so far we've been at three different locations in the first four minutes of this video and everywhere Gabby goes, this girl is hovering around just to bully her. Those webs look worse than I thought they would. I didn't think that was possible. The only thing that looks worse is that hunk of junk in your driveway. Look at my dad's new Porsche. Have fun finishing putting your trash up. <laughs> Darman videos writing is usually bad, but I gotta say, this one's really bad. Got the hooks. What are the hooks for? Look, I was rooting for Gabby to win this competition, don't get me wrong. But if all she's gonna do is glue some cotton balls to a tree and then put some hooks on it, then I don't think she's gonna win, guys. Take everything down. I'm not entering the contest anymore, just take everything down! You mean, just take down the little bit of cotton balls on this tree? There you go. Can't quit now. It's not like we would've had a chance at winning anyways. All of my clothes are from the thrift store. My phone is so old and the screen is cracked. All of her clothes are from the thrift store. Her phone is cracked and you're trying to get me to believe that the girl is that poor. Okay, okay, Darman. So why is this the nicest house I've seen in a long time right behind them? Is this kitchen backsplash here marble? Do you have a fridge right here that opens wow. both ways? There is nothing behind me that shows that this girl is poor. And if they are this poor, I can tell you why you're poor. It's because you have way too expensive of a house. I thought this girl was like living in an apartment or something, but I refuse to believe at this point that this girl's actually as poor as she's saying she is. Her car keeps breaking down. It just sucks. 
sucks. Does this have anything to do with that girl that I saw in the store today? She keeps making fun of me for not having nicer clothes, the new iPhone, or a nicer car. It's not about how many resources you have. It's about how resourceful you are. That's just something Brokey said. What's a Brokey? Well, I mean, it's not them. <laughs> do you think clothes from a thrift store do any less of a job than these, like, big name brands? I mean, designer clothes are way nicer. But I'm talking about the job that they do. I mean, do thrift store clothes, you know, keep you any less warm than, let's say, really expensive clothes? I mean, I could poop in an outhouse, but I'd much rather poop in a toilet that works. Yes, they do the same job, but the experience is way worse. And your phone, does it still work? Barely. But, I mean, you can still make phone calls, you can still send texts. An iPhone 5 does the same basic things than an iPhone 15 does. Now, Gabby, I know we could only afford one carrier pigeon so that you could send messages to your friends, and I know you're upset you couldn't get the new iPhone 15, but carrier pigeons do the same job. People hundreds of years ago did the same thing. So why are you crying? We don't need those fancy things. We have all the pigeons you could ever want here. This dad kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, look, look, I know that my car is old, but it still gets us from A to B, right? Like a expensive car. See this old watch? It still tells the same times as a Rolex can. Honey, our car may have no wheels, but the Flintstones were able to get by with it, so why can't we also? We don't need to spend all this money just for Halloween decorations. All we need to do is be resourceful. Aw, oh, thanks, Deadbeat Dad. You always know how to cheer me up. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Now get the hell out of here. It's time for your old dad to get hammered on some Michelob. So now is the night of the contest, and the bully girl, let's just say she went all out. She's got a bunch of inflatable things that light up. We spent thousands of dollars on these decorations. Impressive, right? I bought every inflatable light up thing I could possibly find. I think we're all in agreement that this is the best house we've seen. It's safe to say that this year's winner of the Halloween House Decorating Contest is... For some reason, everyone gets really worried that she just got a text message. I think you're about to declare the winner. I am so sorry. Um, I just got a text from this girl, Gabby. Looks like we have another house to see. And I know it's almost midnight, but I guess we have to go to her house now to judge it as well. Gabby's so late with this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this stump. I told you, you should have- Wait, let me plug it all in. Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> How did you do this? All you bought was some cotton and cheap light. That is all we bought. My dad and I just made the most out of what we already have. Let's look at that yard again. Whoa! Whoa! At that spider, they have this guy hanging here. You mean to tell me you were using stuff that you just had around the house? Again, why were you complaining about having no money if you had all this decoration laying around? My dad and I just made the most out of what we already have. So again, what is the message of this video, Darman? You see, we cut holes into the paper towel rolls and put glow sticks in them to make them look like glowing eyes. We used some blow foam and spray paint my dad had left over along with those orange string lights and the broken skeleton to make a floor of burning bones. And the spatter we made out of some wire hangers, an old furry blanket, and some old string lights Jessica brought over. We made the ghosts out of cheesecloth and glue and hung some of them with fishing wire to make them look like they're floating. When did they have time to do all this? This seems so very intricate than the beard she had on that tree earlier. <laughs> Lastly, we used some paint, a wooden palette, old string lights, and gloves to make the underworld gates. There's no way that A, you had these ideas that you were able to actually implement, and B, you had enough time to do them, and then C, that you did it correctly enough that it actually ended up working out the way you wanted it to. We may not have the money for expensive decorations, but as my dad always tells me, it's not about how many resources you have, it's about how resourceful you are. While this girl who's apparently a brokey and poor is standing here with a literal <laughs> strobe light behind her that costs a lot of money probably, and all sorts of decorations, and a house that is way more expensive than what most actually poor people can afford. The winner of this year's Halloween House Decorating Contest and who will be taking home $2,500 is Gabby. Oh my God. <laughs> This is ridiculous! You're seriously gonna choose some dumpster divers decorations over someone who spent thousands? Whatever. Let's go, Dad. At the worst, this is a middle-class neighborhood. How does it feel to finally be Tiffany Johnson? It feels pretty good. I'm sorry, sweetie. I gotta get these brakes checked out. I could hear that piece of junk screeching from a mile away. Just because you won the contest doesn't change the fact that you're still a brokey. This girl's had an absolutely disgusting number of lines in this entire video, and not a single one of them have been a single comment where she's not bullying someone. I guess people really don't learn their lessons in Darman videos. What's wrong with that girl? Honestly, 
I couldn't care less about her. <laughs> well, that's good news because she is no longer going to be making fun of you. Got your new clothes. Not from the thrift store. I got your new clothes. Not from the thrift store. I went to a Nordstrom rack instead and got you stuff that was slightly better. iPhone 15. Thank you, Dad. I really appreciate this. I don't need this stuff. I'm perfectly happy with the clothes I have and my phone. Let's go. Well, I guess at the end of the day, the real win was the friends we made along the way. I mean, the decorations we made along the way. The rich girl that we beat along the way. Subscribe to become a skew like me. What was the lesson of this video? I have no idea.